Welcome back to another episode of Birmingham Bites. Today we're going to be checking out Crestwood Soda Fountain Pharmacy located on the outskirts of Birmingham. This place is phenomenal with its great milkshakes, its lime rickies, artisanal sodas, and it's also a pharmacy, so if you have a prescription you need to pick up, you can do that too. Let me run down to what's good here. All right, so the secret ingredient is really good ice cream. We use Cammy's Old Dutch Creamery. It's from Mobile, it's been open since 1969. Mm -hmm. Cammy, who owns it now, started working there when she was 16 as a mm -hmm. scooper and then bought it when she was 30. Uh, she's been making her own ice cream now for about 10 years and now it's working on her wholesale business. So, plugged into that relationship. So that's the number one ingredient, is just real homemade ice cream. Um, from there, we've got the simple stuff, cones, cups. Uh, we have cake cones and waffle cones. So what are some of the mo more popular things on the menu and what would you recommend? Uh, one of the most popular things uh, that we didn't really mean to be so popular were milkshakes. Milkshakes have just kind of taken off. Nothing really to it, it's just great ice cream and milk mixed up into a thick milkshake. Uh, we make the whipped cream homemade here, uh, so that is made fresh here in the house. And so the milkshakes are good. We always have vanilla, chocolate, or strawberry, then we have some special flavors that rotate on and off. Uh, the coffee milkshake is one that's pretty popular. It's just cold brew instead of milk and vanilla ice cream. Some people like to do that with chocolate ice cream. Um, so any of the milkshakes, any of the ice cream sodas are great. I know you guys rotate your ice cream menu a lot, so what are the flavors you guys have right now? Right now, we have chocolate cookies and cream, so it's a chocolate base with an Oreo style cookie. Pumpkin spice, because it is fall. Uh, peach, just holding on to that last little bit of uh, summer vibe. So I would say cones and scoops are pretty self-explanatory, so yeah. for a float, We'll just do a kombucha for it. Yeah, and then, and then um, we can do. We need to do an ice cream soda. Mm -hmm. What's an ice cream soda? It's like the phosphate mix with soda. Uh, ice cream. No, it's like a scoop of ice cream, soda water, and then um, the same flavored syrup. Mm -hmm. um, so vanilla would be vanilla ice cream, vanilla syrup, mm -hmm. and soda water. Okay. Some old timers do the black and white. That's an old school soda fountain recipe: vanilla ice cream, chocolate syrup. Mm -hmm. um, really, you can be as creative as you want with the ice cream flavors and the syrups we have right now. The coffee ice cream soda is really good as well. It's vanilla mm -hmm. ice cream, chocolate syrup, and soda water. Mm -hmm. um, and then I would say some of the phosphate or lime ricky. Okay. The phosphate story is cool, but the lime rickies uh, probably taste a little better. Uh -huh. the What's phosphate, the story behind the phosphate? Uh, it was just an old school hand mixed soda. Uh, you add acid phosphate to buffered solution of phosphoric acid. Mm -hmm. It's in Coca Cola, Pepsi, uh, Mountain Dew, all those kind of drinks. Mm -hmm. But it just kind of sours the drink um, and balances out the syrup. So it's not just too sweet and syrupy. Uh, but once soda started getting bottled in a can, this went away. So it's been kind of extinct for about 50 years. That's why this guy's company is called Extinct Chemical Company. So this guy's a chemist turned bartender and he's bringing it back uh, mm -hmm. for bars and soda fountains to it's use. It's really cool. I feel like there's like, you always hear about soda fountains, but like there's never, I've never been, this is like the first time I've been to a soda fountain. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah so it's really cool to hear about. I've never really been to one either. So I thought I opened one. <laughs> so let's try some of these things. Okay. What do right. you want to start with? Let's start with, I want. I really like the story behind the ice cream soda, like the, you said like the old school soda fountain drink was like the black and white. Yeah, black and white, vanilla ice cream, chocolate syrup, and soda water. Let's yeah, try so that let's, one. let's try that one. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's real life bro, right there. One other thing that we're crazy about is we've tried to eliminate plastic that's not recyclable. Mm -hmm. So we don't have plastic straws or spoons or anything. Mm -hmm. So either slow down and take 10 minutes to enjoy your treat here, or we got paper straws. Mm -hmm. We have metal straws. Um, for here as well. Mm -hmm. So we're trying to do our part to save the planet so a the little bit. the metal straws are in-house if you drink it in-house? Yeah. So there's a... I love it, sustainability. Yep. 
This is a black and white ice cream soda with soda water, vanilla ice cream, and then chocolate syrup. It was very popular in the late 1800s, early 1900s, so let's, let's, let's try it. <laughs> That is surprisingly really good. I think the soda water just gives it like an extra little kick with all the carbonation and mix with them with the ice cream. It's like two things that you don't think would work together, like soda water, ice cream, and chocolate syrup mixed in, but honestly, they all complement each other so well and it's honestly really delicious. So let's try the next thing. Wow, that's got a kick to it. I really like it. I really like it with the ice cream. It really cuts like the sweetness. Um, it cuts like the bitterness of like the kombucha. I kind of want to mix this together and see. It tastes great. It looks beautiful, and. I, I, I like it. It's something I would never like think to try, but it honestly is like worth it to come like try this. Yeah, personally, I love kombucha. Mm -hmm. It's a great healthy alternative to soda. It's mm -hmm. good for your gut health. Mm -hmm. um, but if you're unsure about it and you need to grow into the taste, just mm -hmm. add a scoop of ice cream and yeah. not feel so guilty as yeah. if you were getting a Coke float or root beer float. Now we're gonna be trying Crestwood's hand mixed sodas. Um, on the left, I have a lime ricky, and on the right, I have a phosphate made with um, the acid phosphate. So let's try the um, lime ricky first. And they're both cherry flavored, so we're gonna see like what the difference is. I love limeades, and this is like one of the best like cherry limeades I've ever had. I always get them when I go to Sonic, and like this is honestly really amazing and it tastes so like fresh and like it just tastes you could taste that it's like made in-house like natural and like really like good fresh squeezed lime juice then we also use this organic syrups we have this cherry organic syrup uh, from joe's organic syrups in oregon we try to use high quality products so um that's one thing that definitely yeah. helps it taste and you can like really taste like the high quality like ingredients in it and that it makes it what it is Okay, so now I'll start the um, cherry phosphate. Out of the two, my personal favorite, it's gotta be the cherry lime ricky. I'm just a sucker for limeades and like having that limed aftertaste and like mixed in with the, with the cherries is like phenomenal. You have to come try this one. And both of those were traditionally served in the summertime when it was really hot outside. Mm -hmm. Obviously, this was before air conditioners were a thing. Mm -hmm. So people would come into the pharmacy soda fountain and get an ice cold uh, Ricky or phosphate, mm -hmm. chug it, and then be back on their way to do whatever they were mm -hmm. doing. So nice thirst quenching, cool you down, summertime drink. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so first and foremost, we are a pharmacy. We're a full service community mm -hmm. pharmacy. Anything the chains can do, we can also do. Mm -hmm. We can fill any prescription, we give immunizations, uh, we offer free delivery, and we also offer compounding. Mm -hmm. So what like gave you the idea of like mixing like a soda fountain and a pharmacy like, just together? Because like, this is the first time I've seen something like this. Just history, um, mm -hmm. it's just, for me, just, Part of the part of the history of the pharmacy, mm -hmm. um, community pharmacies all used to have soda fountains at the mm -hmm. turn of the century in the early 1900s. There were hundreds of thousands of pharmacies that had soda fountains. 
Um, as the times changed, they just kind of slowly died out. There's still a handful across the country, several throughout the state, um, but it just kind of makes pharmacy more fun and more of a neighborhood kind of community spot yeah. rather than just filling prescriptions. Yeah, you can have a sweet treat while you wait on your prescription or a lot of kids come by after school. Uh, mm -hmm. So just trying to recreate that old school thing. That's it for this episode of Birmingham Bites. Whether you need a sweet treat or your prescription fill, come down to Crestwood Pharmacy and Soda Found. The people here are great. The community here is amazing. And the natural just like energy here. And like, it's honestly all amazing. And the milkshakes are probably one of the best milkshakes you'll ever have. Like and subscribe, comment down below where you want us to go next. Um, that's it for today's episode. I'm Samir, and I'll see you in the next episode of Birmingham Bites. Make sure you follow Crestwood Pharmacy and Soda Fountain on Instagram at BHAMRX and on Facebook at Crestwood Pharmacy and Soda Fountain. I got a call from New York. Hello, New York?